I even let him kiss me right on the lips. Go ahead. Kiss me, you fool. Mm. Somebody went, ugh. <laughs> it's okay, I've had him tested. He doesn't have chirpies. <laughs> you know, if he did, it wouldn't matter a whole lot anyway, because chirpies is tweetable. <laughs> now, Rusty is pretty good at the shell game, and that's kind of like three-card Monty. My buddy Jimmy down there, well, Jimmy likes to play poker. Yeah. Oh, I tell you, when he went into the military, this guy decided he had to become a great poker player. He's been hanging out in the casinos lately, and now he wants to look for someone out here in our audience that might like to play a little bit of poker with Jimmy today. Anybody a gambler want to play a little game of poker with Jimmy today? We need somebody over 18. This gentleman right over here with the hat on and the towel looks like he might be swimming with the dolphins a little bit later on. Give him a nice warm welcome, and he's on his way up. Are you excited? You are, yeah, I know you are. Well, hello there. Hi. It's nice to meet you. What is your name? Paul. Paul. This is Paul. Say hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. <laughs> He's a little confused, Paul. This is Paul. He's, you're just supposed to say hello. Hello. That's right. <laughs> okay. And now you can tell Paul your name. What's your name? What's your name? Jimmy. Jimmy. Okay, now that we've had our introductions, Paul, I'd like you to bring you down over here by the poker table. I'm going to stand you right over here next to the unicycle. You do not have to ride it. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> All right. I'm going to bring Jimmy back over here. Now, have you ever played, Paul, a game such as parrot poker? It's, it's a little bit different when you play a game of parrot poker. Now, you're each going to get a chance to pick cards, of course. And what I'll do is when you pick a card, he gets the leftover, right? And you pick the card, then he gets the leftover, and go, we're going to go back and forth like that until we have a full deck, okay, or a full hand. Are you ready? All right. All right, now which one of these cards would you like for yourself? You're going to take that one. Got for yourself a queen of clubs, the left for Jimmy, the ace of spades, okay. Now Jimmy does get to pick the next card, and as I said, Jimmy's been a little bit under the weather lately. He's been complaining because he thinks that he's been, in the, he's been playing the cards a lot in the, the casinos and he has a terrible cough. How's your cough? <gasps> I told you. <laughs> well, go ahead and check those cards out and see which one you'd like for yourself. He's sneaking up on it. Okay, you're going to go ahead and pull that one back. Okay, that's the one you've chosen. Let's see what you got. Well, you got for yourself, oh, that's pretty good. Matched up a couple of spades over there. I didn't check the cards out myself and see what we have over here for you, Paul. Well, Paul's got a king and queen of clubs, so that's looking pretty good. You can go for a straight either way. His is kind of a long shot. And it is your turn to pick right now, so which one would you like this time? You're going to take this one over here, and you have gotten for yourself the Ace of Hearts. Took that Ace away from Jimmy, but now my friend Jimmy has a pair of Jacks. <laughs> He's looking a little nervous, though, here, Paul. Let's put you over here so you can see the cards a little bit better. Did you see what your opponent has over there? It's looking pretty good for him. Now, wait a minute. It is, in fact, Jimmy's turn, so I'm going to put these down here. But you get to pick last, so this might actually work out really well for you, Paul. Look them all over this time, Jimmy, and see what you have. He's not sure, but he's going to go ahead and pull that one back anyway. What did you get for yourself? Another jack. <laughs> it's looking pretty good for him. What do you have over here? Well, you got yourself a queen, so you got a pair of queens, and you do, in fact, get the last choice, Paul. So which of these cards would you like for yourself? You'll take that one. Look at that. You have now gotten yourself three of kind. Three queens would be his three jacks except that he pulled himself or left himself another ace over here giving himself the full house. Oh, looks like he got beat by the bird. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, I, I don't know about this, Paul, though. Something tells me there might have been foul play afoot. Come on over here, Jim. I don't know. I want to ask you something. Were you cheating? Honestly? You were. <laughs> That'll happen. I feel bad about that, Paul. I don't want you to go home empty-handed. By the way, where are you from? Vermont. You're from Vermont. Well, you've come a long way. Now, I understand that up there in Vermont you have a lot of art lovers, right? Yeah. Well, we actually have an artist, and, and Roxanne is going to pay for Jimmy right now. She's going to go ahead and paint a picture of anything that you want. This is Roxanne's easel. As you can see, this is blank right now, and she's going to paint anything you want on there. But what she's going to do is she's actually going to read your mind. 
Yeah, yeah, she's, she actually is a really good mind reader, too. So you can have her paint anything you want, but keep it kind of simple. She can't paint the Mona Lisa. It's only a 20-minute show. Okay, so do you have something in mind that you might like to have my beautiful Roxanne paint for you? Okay, let's see if she can do it. She does love to paint, and, and here, I don't know what it is about Gulf World, but we actually have three dolphins and a penguin that also paint. But the penguin doesn't know he's painting. No, he gets paint on his feet and he waddles on the canvas. <laughs> now, now get that thought in mind and try and send that off to Roxanne, and let's see if she can paint what you're thinking of. You got a good picture of it? Yeah. All right. Now, one thing, though, Paul, I will tell you is I do not read minds. I may not give her the exact right colors. So she, she's going to have to mix them on the fly. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that parrots see color very well? Oh, they do. They actually have wonderful color vision, even better than our own. They actually have an extra color receptor in their eyes that a human doesn't have. And with that, they detect ultraviolet. So they see hues that we don't even see, including in each other. Would you be able to guess if Roxanne was a boy or a girl, do you think? No. Yeah, you can't tell because to our eyes, a boy or a girl parrot coloration is going to look the same, at least with the kind that I have up here. There are a few that are what's known as dimorphic. She's still working with that color. Oh, I think she's, is that, is that, is that good? Right there. <laughs> she's really working with her brushwork today. Okay, we're going to take that one back so you can go ahead and mix some of this in here too. Now that's really cool though because when we look at these, like I said, we can't tell the difference between a boy and a girl. But with that extra color receptor, a parrot sees colorations in the boys and girls we don't see so they know who they're supposed to flirt with. You're probably wondering how do we tell if we want to breed them, huh? Well, we get a blood test done. Yeah, we do, honestly. <laughs> well, some people have to do that too, don't they, when you think about it? <laughs> yeah, we get a blood test done and they'll analyze your bird's DNA. Yeah, that's a new development. It's gotten a lot easier to breed them now that we can tell what we're dealing with. <laughs> yeah, well, back in the old days, you took your parrot, you sent him into the restroom, you see if you put the seat up or down. <laughs> I know, that's just a crapshoot. That's what that is. Oh, but she has done a beautiful job for you, Paul. Now, I have to know what you were thinking of, because I want to see if it is what she, what she painted for you. What, what, did you. what did you think about? Dolphins. Yeah, she, it, well, the dolphins was swimming with the sharks that day, and things went a bit awry. <laughs> I gave her a little too much red. I think, she, I think she was seeing a shark in your mind's eye there, Paul. But I do see the dolphin, though, right over here, don't you? Sure. Sure. <laughs> you, don't, you don't really believe me now, do you, Paul? Well, I see him clear as day, don't you? Yeah, right. You're, you're, all, you're all just messing with me. Oh, thank you. I want to prove. Now, Rox really does read minds, and I'm going to give this to you, Paul, at the end of the show. Come up. Actually, I'll just set it over here. But I want to prove that she reads minds, and Mark's going to help me now, Paul. This is my husband, Mark. This is Paul from Vermont. He's a great guy. But see, Mark has these flashcards here, Paul, and on these cards are a variety of different symbols that mean things to parrots. They're all different. There's about 40 of them. He's going to spread them out for you, Paul, and he wants you to go ahead and touch one of those cards for him. Put your finger on any card you want. Now take it out, but don't let Mark, me, or of course not Roxanne, see that card. Okay. Did you take a good peek at it yourself, though? Okay. Now, Roxanne does do abstract art. Of course she does. Everybody says abstract arts for the birds. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But what we did was we drew every single symbol on the cards on this piece of paper. Did you notice yours? Yep. Okay, well, you're quick. <laughs> you know, honestly, I have done this in a couple of other places, and the one lady, she took like a half an hour, and then she said, mine's not there. <laughs> so the people in Vermont are very quick. <laughs> All right. Now, what I want you to do is look over here at rocks, and really, now this time, really try and send the signal off. And Mark's going to go and give her a red pencil, and we're going to see if she can check it off on the checklist of cards. Let's see if she can find it. All right, she's, she's concentrating, and she's checked something on the paper. Yeah, she is quick, but sometimes she's not right. I mean, well, she might just have to go potty right now because she's checked the newspaper. <laughs> what, what are you? He has the newspaper, folks. Look at that. The newspaper. Look at that. See? Now do you believe me? Now I believe. I know. Isn't that amazing? I'm telling you, Paul. This bird, uh, really, she does amaze me on a regular basis. At this point, I'm certain she has skills of the parrot normal. <laughs> Paul, this is your beautiful masterpiece, an original Ricasso. And everybody give Paul a great big hand. Thank you so Thank much, you Paul. Much. You're very welcome. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, Roxanne just amazes me on a regular basis. And not only is Rox quick-minded.